Hello! In this video I'd like to show you the full manual process of smart magnet rigging. It's possibly the slowest but also the most precise way of handling complex characters. Not that the other methods are less precise, but because it's full manual and because things just happen at your own pace, it's very likely that you will have more time to consider certain moves and certain actions. If you're unfamiliar with smart magnet rigs, I urge you to read the article on smart magnet rigging and also watch the video that gives you the fundamentals so that you can follow this presentation. Now, to start with, I've created just a bunch of shapes. So this is what we have here on the stage. It's just a bunch of shapes on a single layer. I'll convert each of these into a symbol. I'll start with the torso. I'll just call it torso graphic symbol registration in the middle. The next one will be the neck. Next one will be head. Arm upper. Arm lower. Leg and foot. Now I will very quickly re-register these symbols. I'll try to be precise but I will not worry too much about it because this is just a really very basic and brief demonstration. So I'm not gonna be too worried about precision here. To re-register them, I'm using set reg point to transform point from the menu or with a shortcut. Shortcut key is control T. Okay, now once the symbols are re-registered, I can overlap them. I will just make sure that these are aligned and I will move this just somewhere here just like this now I'll, I'll alt drag and flip horizontally to create the other arm I will move it behind the torso Position this one here and this one with an overlap just like this and then I'll alt drag while holding shift and try to be reasonably symmetrical okay let's consider this good enough now we will proceed with adding center markers to our elements. Oh, before that, I'll uh, distribute these to layers. So now each symbol is on its own layer. I'll save my file and I will start by entering symbols one by one and adding center markers. How do we add a center marker? We use this command create magnet target or center marker. The shortcut key is alt plus tilde. A center marker layer was created, a folder called edapt objects was created and a center marker was placed over the registration point of my foot symbol. Now I will move on and add a center marker here we'll go in outline mode so that I can see the center marker 
in my foot and I will add a magnet target. Now I'll put the magnet target in proximity to my foot center marker and I will press tilde which will snap the magnet target over the center marker in the foot. Now I'll go out and I will go on with the lower arm. I'll add a center marker here. I will exit this symbol and enter the upper arm. We'll go in outline mode, add a center marker first, and then I'll add a magnet target for the lower arm and snap it to the center marker in the elbow. Now I'll go here and add a center marker in the head, then into the neck, add its center marker. It's just here over the ridge point and a magnet target for the head. And now the last thing that I need to do is just enter the torso and add all these magnet targets for all the elements. One for the neck, one for this arm. I can alt drag while these are not tagged with metadata, they're neutral, so I can just alt drag one of the existing ones to duplicate and snap. So now when we have all the magnet targets in place, we can create a node-based representation of our robot in the smart magnet rig panel. I'll call it robot, I'll create the rig, and then I will add nodes for each of the elements. So we have a node for the neck, another one for the head, two elements for each arm, and two elements for each leg. So this is how our robot's structure looks like. It's quite basic and quite simple. Now I'll select the torso, which will be my master parent. And we'll go in tagging mode and we'll tag the torso first by clicking on the node representation of it. Now the next one will be the neck, the next one will be the head. Now it doesn't really matter whether we progress down the chains, you see how the next level gets unlocked. I can tag this arm first and then I can tag this arm. I can continue with this element, I can continue with this element or this element and now just complete by tagging the rest. The order doesn't matter as long as you click and tag the appropriate representation. Now when we're done with the panel, we can test our rig by moving the master parent, selecting Smart Transform, which selects all the children, and then running Smart Magnet Joint. And there we go. Our rig is complete. Everything functions as expected. If I grab Kineflex, I can move it while holding Shift. I can try the soft rotation, I can try moving the individual elements and I can start posing him. So rigging is complete. Now I'd like to show you something slightly more complex structure wise we have this character here this other robot which has a slightly different structure i've placed these elements at the same joints as the upper arms so 
and and here this is just a single this is just a single element so i'll use this as my master parent and we'll create a representation of this structure i'll call it uh, robot 2 so we create a new rig let's just look at it in outline mode and create the representation first so we have the head we don't have a neck we have this lower body leg-like extension then we have three elements for the arms one two three one two three and then we have these two disc-like structures connecting to the torso in the shoulder joints now before we can start tagging him we need to add the magnet points and the center markers so let's just go inside and one by one add the center markers first so the center marker here you can see the layer was created a center marker here now a center marker here and on top of that a magnet target let me just zoom in so that you can see better this is the center marker in the hand when i snap this magnet target it snaps to the center marker in the other symbol now let's go inside here a center marker first and then let's see better a magnet target which i'll just drag here close to the center marker and snap it a center marker for the head and these already have the center markers because they're a part of this complex container which holds lots of things inside it so now we have to just go inside the torso and add the magnets for all the elements one for the foot i will all drag because these are still neutral they have no metadata in them one for this arm and one for the other arm now we're done with placing the targets and the center markers and we can proceed by tagging all the elements starting as always with the master parent so first of all the master parent then the head then this leg then the arm then the lower arm and the hand and this one and this one and finally these two Now, if we test as usual, the way I always encourage people to do would be to drag the master parent, press one and press tilde, which chain selects everything and then snaps the elements in place. Now I can switch to Kineflex and move the whole character I can try hard rotation, I can try soft rotation and we can see that everything behaves the way it is supposed to. Everything is the way it should be. Oh, 
I'll close the panel and I'll consider my job done. This was full manual rigging with the smart magnet rig panel. I hope this has been helpful and informative. Thanks for watching.